Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. And let's just cut right to the chase, and let's just establish that the chase is Isima's front yard, because we have been bothering everybody on the Hermitcraft server to get permission to essentially just kind of mow everything down and build it back up better. So I got permission from Isima to just tear up his front lawn and properly autumnify it, which is precisely what I plan to do. Okay, well, this is inconvenient. Thank you, stairs. You... Yeah, there we go. Wonderful. We can just sub in a little bit of this dirt here. Awesome. Now we can, uh, I don't know. Let's, uh, grab some more nether brick stairs and just go around this way. Boom, boom, boom. We are like a stair-making, stair-laying machine. Okay, awesome. So, the stairs have been laid. I'm thinking at this point what I want to do is come through here, clear all this out, and get the leaves down. Now, that's kind of one of those things that is not too technical. You guys have already seen me do this a few times, so I will forgive you if you would rather do something else. If you got your little toenail clippers out, and you think, uh-oh, I don't want to start clipping these toenails, because Joe Hills might be offended by the fact that I'm clipping my toenails while he's working so hard to make me a beautiful video. Or if, you know, you've been waiting to, uh, I don't know, sign some chicks, you know, you got to pay your electric or, or whatever. Thought I might be offended by the lack of your fully undivided attention? Worry not, fair friend. Worry not. Weary traveler of these Minecraft worlds and of the Hermitcraft world. Why am I glitching? I'm trying to monologue here. Rah. Monologue. Anyway, um, yeah, so... I'm just kind of throwing stuff on the ground. You've already seen me do that a few times. You are forgiven for being distracted. You are forgiven for feeling that you might have something different to do. So what I'm thinking, though, as I come through all here, is we're just going to kind of continue the patchworky look that we got on the rest of the server. And where this is going to get a little bit more interesting is I'm thinking about tearing up this walkway here and figuring out what to do along the wall here and... So there's gonna, this kind of reaches around a little bit. Like, Isima's domain, Isima's yard, actually extends and backs up all the way into generic bees, which I still need to get on the horn with him and schedule a recording time. He was off to brunch with his wife. You know, I think... Just a quick question for any of you guys who talk to generic bee regularly. Does he go to brunch a lot? Like, all the time, constantly? Because it seems like any time I want to ask him about something, he's like, oh, yeah, uh, I don't know, I'll get back to you. Let me go just grab brunch real quick. And I've realized now, upon reflection, it was like, e e I don't know, 6 in the afternoon? No, can't be that late. It was like 1 in the afternoon when he told me, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you, I'm going to brunch. He's on Chicago time, which is the same as Tennessee time. I know this because I have to select it in the windows when I want to select my time zone. Um, So, really... Maybe I am being played for a fool here. Maybe I need to kind of route around that somehow, which I can do in a little bit. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do here is I'm going to substitute in these uh, jungle planks. So let's get out our iron axe. And what I might do also is widen this a little bit so it starts kind of here. And I'm going to probably want to pull... Yes, let's get out our flint. That will be exactly what we want. I'll come back uh, shortly with um, some stairs for this. But um, we can just kind of make the whole thing look slightly more autumnal using a little bit of a rosier color. Um, I figure, like, the default wood is great for certain seasons, but not necessarily all. Also, I hear a zombie from somewhere, and I'm not sure where. But, like, I just, I, I really feel like this, uh, kind of rosier color jungle wood just flows better with the autumnal vibe. I've also got to talk to Biffa. Now, some of you guys might know Biffa is in England, where they don't have brunch. They have, like, tea and second breakfast and elevensies and all that. I, I learned all this from my good friend Biffa Tolkien, who is unrelated both to J.I.R. Tolkien and to Biffa 2001. Weird coincidence, but unrelated to both guys. I, I know, right? It doesn't seem like that would happen. Somehow it does. Dang it. There we go. So we can just kind of continue this along here with some Tetris pieces. Oh, it would have been fun to actually make this entirely with Tetris pieces. 
actually, is it too late to make this entirely with Tetris pieces? Maybe it is. Um, I'm kind of thinking now that having some Tetris pieces mixed in here would be cooler, but we can come back to that. Let's um, just go ahead and start digging up his whole yard while we're at it. Oh, wait, do I need to get the parts over here? Yeah, I do. So, whoops. And I'll have to get that gate fence post thing back in there, too. Awesome. So we can just, like, orange, orange, blip. Incorrect block placement. Yeah, if you guys want, like, a really good exercise program, I've heard that P90X thing can be good, but what's probably better is just to, like, watch my videos, and every time I misplace a block or something, you do a sit-up. Or, like, a push-up or something. You just have uh, some sort of weird um, Joe Hills exercise routine. Yeah, I used to do this thing where um, when I was preparing uh, to be in better shape, um, when I was considering military service as my possible vocation, I used to do... Uh, uh oh. I used to do a thing where I would read a book, and every time I turned the page, I would do... Um, I would also have, like, a deck of cards with me, and I would flip over a card and do sit-ups or push-ups or whatever, um, based on the, uh, number, um, that came up on the card. And this worked pretty well, um, now if it was a, a number below, like, let's say four or five, what I might do is then add another card to it, and, uh, so that way, you know, I was always doing, like, a certain minimum, and so the, you'd get some kind of crazy chains out of that sort of thing. Let's see, do we want to get out our torches now? I think we might. So, one thing I'm, I know I'm going to want to do as it gets darker here is get our nice little walkways set up like that. Whoops. To kind of keep this lit a little bit better. Well, that's looking pretty good. And I'm thinking I might do the same over here. Kind of have this little walkway going on. Now, what I'm going to want to do, of course, Isima's house is like the least secure house in the world. So, I'm very wary of coming up here and using his workbench, because who knows what will sneak up behind me. But if I don't use his workbench, then you guys will be mad at me, because I wasted a bunch of time when I could have been using his workbench and blowing up his house. So, we're just going to quickly use his workbench, pop in here, give that a little go. Yeah, I think that looks alright. So... One thing I kind of wanted to do, too, is add a little sign that says, Spoon! Or, actually, I am Spoon! Done. And, uh... Isuma! This way, when, you know, like, we have new people on the server occasionally, like King Daddy DMAC or whatever, he can find out whose house it is, you know, when he comes by places. Because, also, I don't know whose half the houses are. So, let's see. We've got a farm here. We've got these stairs down here. We've got this little Bart back here. And this hill and everything. Going to want to do all of this with the new wool. Um, I'll save Generic Beast Tree Farm for later. Because even though that's um, near us and stuff, it's technically Generic Bees, I think. We're going to need, uh, let's add some light here, just to stop stuff from spawning, because this is probably not a safe space here. Like, I hear a zombie somewhere. Is it down in there again? No. Well, either way, we are working on this as we go. Oh, that reminds me, I wanted to put in, uh, replace all the gravel that I had laid with sand in this episode. And hopefully no creepers will come upon me in the dark. Because it is kind of late on the Hermitcraft server. But there's at least two other people on here. So I can't expect them to turn night into day just for little old me. Let's see. One thing that we want to do too is swing by our sort it later chest. And throw everything in there that we're going to want to sort later. Like that. I don't know what that's for. Yeah, probably don't want those either. Get rid of all the extra stuff. Sort it later. That's why we have a chest.
Done. Next problem. Okay. Cool. So, additionally, while it is not, we may as well... I noticed that Isima's main walk is these half slabs of jungle wood. And I noticed that I'm going to need... For that little path there, I'm going to need more jungle wood steps, too. So let's go ahead and make those. Okay, great. So we can now just fashion that. And let's get back out there. We should mob... Uh, uh, we should be prepared for the mobs. So let's get our good tools out. Okay, great. Sword and everything. Cool. Whoa, thank you, glitchy door. Quick creeper check. Any creepers hanging out? Not that I see. Everything seems sufficiently well lit. Okay, that's a good sign. Toss that there real quick. Any mobs down here? Any mobs? Nope, no mobs. Okay. Quickly with the axe, we come in, we strike. And we place extra blocks because, you know... Ah! Creeper! Okay. So, stairs are good to have. Dang it, Creeper. Creeps McKenzie. Let's get some extra lights up here just to make sure that whoever... Ugh. Dang it, Creepers. Where'd he come from, anyway? I bet he literally came through Isuma's house. That is like Creeper Central over there. Okay. Oh, these are the old slabs. They're, like, technically stone, but... Cool. Fireproof slabs. So, here we go. Toss these in. Awesome. And somehow I used the wrong stairs over here, too. So let's fix that. Great. Okay, now if no more creepers are going to come drop on my head... Let's go ahead and try and fix this. Dang it, creepers. You're the absolute worst. You are. You are that. Okay. Get out our dirt here, as we will clearly need it. Oh, stupid, stupid creepers. Oh, wait, hold on. Do I want to... I probably want to have it set up so that the stairs go um, up to he here, like they, they they go with that. Okay, so we'll actually cut these out. Whoops. And pull this whole thing along a little bit further back. Awesome. Junglewood planks. Great. Uh, building at night is so harrowing on this server. Or any server, but like... Especially here, because I don't want to ruin other people's stuff. Okay, and there's a spider over here. And a spider. Okay, so it seems like a whole bunch of the mobs are spawning back inside the sand machine. Which is a terrible place to get hit by a creeper. Oh, and they're coming out from under there. Who knows what's down here, then? Well... Okay, so, anyway... Assuming that no more mobs are gonna come and shanghai us... And having looked around with a reasonable amount of foresight here... Okay, so let's now continue our quest to actually finish this. Because it would be nice if this was actually finished, because then I could go back inside, where there aren't all the mobs. I could be free, like one of them kids on that movie, Free Willy, which I think is, is what, you know, the point of the movie is about. Not the whale being free, it's about you being free. So, you know, everybody, go embrace that spirit and be free. Be free like a bird or, or, or a whale. You know, whales are like birds in that they can swim anywhere they want, but they can't really fly. So, we're like some birds. Not all birds have that in common. So, let's quickly grab all this. Great. 
throw in a little more color here. Oh, you know what game I played for the first time yesterday? Ooh, that's a good shovel. Man, that's faster than my shears. I wish you could enchant shears, by the way, so that it could be faster than that shovel. Um, I played this game called Blockus for the first time yesterday, which is really neat. Um, and it's got, like, all these different shapes that you're trying to play around the board to, um... Like, everybody's trying to play all of their tiles, and they can't be adjacent. They can only be diagonally. It's it's a hard game to explain, and in fact, I'm doing such a poor job, I should probably just give up now. But it's a really fun game, is my point. And, see, for some reason, the shears are not as good on the dirt as the shovel is on everything else. So, I don't know what you make of that, but, okay. Orange... Cool. So now we can just come through here and throw some more of our just wonderful little stairs down. Nether brick stairs. Great. So this is really starting to come together now. Let's go back up here and see how it looks. Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty happy with that. Definitely looking a lot better. I was thinking about doing some, like, wool on the trees and stuff, but that can get really problematic with, like, mobs spawning in them, and, uh... So, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna do focus on the ground first, but... Okay, so we got our cool little path here. I can swing out this way real quick and... knock out this part. I really should be just collecting all of the uh, grass I pick up with Silk Touch stuff, but I feel like by the time that we um, end up wanting to have grass out here again, because, like, if we winterify everything, that's going to be like throwing snow blocks down and things. You know, we're not going to immediately need to have all this grass black. Grass block. Black. Glass blocks. Blah, blah, blah. We won't need to have all of these grass blocks back. Boom! Nailed it on the first try. Yes, that's exactly how many tries it took to say that. Don't question it. Joe Hills. Awesome. Um, I, I don't know if I wanted to mess with those, because that's kind of his... Like, this stuff here, these are grass blocks inside of his base. These ones on the outside here, I might deal with. I'll save that for Generic Bees episode. So, okay. Well, in short, though, when you're coming into the spawn village... And you're looking around, and you're like, okay, who here is a screw-up that didn't autumnify stuff? The only person you're going to know is a screw-up is Biffa. But that's okay, because he threatened to blow us all up. So I don't think anybody will be too offended when his lawn is the only one that's absolutely terrible forever. So, cool. I'm not sure, does this block serve a purpose? Or, maybe it was the end of the, um, it might have been the end of the hedges. So let's get rid of that, and let's take a look at this here. This seems to be some sort of bizarre, like, joiner thing here. But I'm thinking that nether brick might meet that need better. Or somehow. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the deal is with this. It's just kind of a weird joint, essentially, or joist, or I don't even know what this would be qualified as. But, okay, so because this becomes a full block, it gets awkwardly promoted to that. And then this one is kind of awkwardly over here, but we can replace that like so. Eh. I don't, I don't know. Um... I'm not sure what to do with this. I might just put a full block on both of these. Or actually a full block on that one. Yeah, I think that might be the ideal solution there. Okay, cool. So that goes all the way up there. And... Not sure how I want to deal with this stairwell yet. And I'm not sure what I want to do, like, for example, with this big mine entrance. And I talked to Isuma, though, about possibly moving all of these out like these big um, watermelon and pumpkin spawners here. So that way, um, people who are new to the server 
like King Daddy D Mac or whatever, can have opportunities to build houses in here closer to the thing. Um, like this massive mine entrance isn't really necessary now that nobody goes down in the mine. We could do something with the bookshelf thing. Um, I don't know exactly what would be ideal with that, but we could figure something out with that. Um, the biggest thing that has to stay, though, is the skeleton spawner, because, uh, unfortunately that's built where the dungeon is. You can't move the, um, dungeon, because that's just hard-coded into the game that way. So, anyway, though, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep autumn to find.